Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now we are going to solve this problem 269. So again it's a from couples topic, right? So in this problem it is said that a lug wrench, so this is a lug wrench, is used to tighten a square head bolt. So here is a square head bolt like this. If 50 pound forces are applied to the wrench as shown, so here are 50 pound forces applied in the opposite direction. So these 50 pound forces produce a couple. Let's suppose that the geometric center of this uh, bolt is let's suppose O, right? So it produces the moment about this point O. So we need to determine the magnitude f of the equal forces exerted on the four contact points on the one inch board. So this is one inch board, one by one inch board. So here are the forces applied at these uh, contact points, right? So I have drawn these forces here. So these are the contact forces. So we need to determine the magnitude of this force, right? And here it is said that assume that the forces are perpendicular to the flares of the bolt head right so we need to assume that these forces are perpendicular to the bolt right so the moment produced by this 50 pound force will be equal to the moment produced by these uh, f forces right so let's suppose if i write that the moment about o is equal to for this case so now one force is this and one force is this so this will produce one couple and this will produce another couple right and the dimensions of this board is one by one inch so this is one inch and this is one inch right so there are basically two couples right so this uh, the magnitude of uh, this couple will be f into d right and similarly again plus f into d the perpendicular distance right so again it will be like this and the moment produced by this 50 pound force will be equal to 50 into the perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance between these two 50 pound forces is 28. So I will write 28. And for these forces, we need to find F and D is 1 for one couple and again D is 1 for the second couple. So this means that this will be equal to 2F will be equal to 50 into 28. So F will be equal to 50 into 28 divided by 2. So this will be equal to 700 pounds. Now the next problem that we are going to solve is this is to problem 270. Right. So in this problem it is said that a force couple system acts at O. So this is a force couple system at this point, at this point O and the force is acting at 60 degree right 60 degree circular sector so this is a 60 degree circular sector and the force is making 60 degrees with the horizontal right so we need to determine the magnitude of this force f this equivalent force f if the given system can be replaced by a standalone force at corner a of the sector so we need to find the magnitude of this force f which will replace this uh, force couple system right so the moment produced by this f force will be equal to f into r perpendicular so we need to find the r perpendicular and this moment should be equal to this a t newton this moment this given moment right so we will write a t newton meter so now uh, we need to find the magnitude of this f and we need to find this r perpendicular so now let's suppose if i draw that uh, r perpendicular so this will be that perpendicular r right so let's suppose if i let's suppose this is that r perpendicular right so now as we can see that this angle is this will be 90 right so it is required to be 90 so if this is 90 and this is 60 so then this will be 30 degrees right so this length is known the radius of this sector is 0.4 so then r perpendicular will be this will be 0.4 cos of 30 degrees right so this is the cos component of this 0.4 so we can write that 0.4 cos of 30 degrees into f is equal to 80 so f is equal to 80 divided by 0.4 
cos of 30 degrees. So, when we solve this, so this comes out to be 231 newtons, right? So, this is the force that will replace that force couple system at this, at this point A. The next problem is problem 271. So, in this problem it is said that during a steady right turn, a person exerts the forces shown on the steering wheel. So, these are the forces, 8 Newton forces that are applied, right? Note that each, four cons each force consists of a tangential component and a radial inward component, right? So, it says that one is the tangential component and the other one is the radial component. So, we need to determine the moment exerted about the steering column at O, right? So, if I resolve this force into its components, this will be the tangential component, right? And this one will be the radial component, right? So, if I draw this, so this one will be the radial component and the radial component will pass through this point O, so it will not produce any moment, right? So, let's suppose if I write that this is F tangential and this is F normal and similarly if I resolve the other force as well right so if I resolve this force so there will be one tangential component and the other one will be the normal component right so if I draw it like this so now as we can see that the tangential component this is the tangential component and it is the cos component so F tangential is 8 cos of 30 degrees and similarly this is also 8 cos of 30 degrees. So the moment about O will be equal to the tangential component into the distance that is the distance between these two tangential components. So let me write that that is D right. So this distance is the D. The dia of this steering wheel right. So it will be 8 cos of 30 degrees into 375 millimeters divided by 1000 right so what we will get we will get the moment about O so it comes out to be 2.6 Newton meter and as we can see that this is producing moment in this direction and this is producing moment in this direction so this is a clockwise moment so we can write clockwise moment right so this is the solution of this problem.